This photo has become the iconic image of the Boston bombings. Seconds after the blast, a runner knocked to the ground. Stunned police officers responding in different directions. Boston Globe photographer John Tamaki was behind the lens. Do you remember what was going through your mind when you took that photo? It was confusion at first. Um, I reacted instinctually. My senses just took over. My camera was on my face and I just kept shooting. When you ran over to the sidewalk, what did you see? Pools of blood. I saw bodies on top of bodies. Um, there was smoke. It had that 4th of July smell to it after the grand finale. And I saw um, people in agony. I remember seeing this man who was comforting this girl and he was holding her hair and her head and it appeared he was whispering to her and that was one of the first pictures I took. There were people, you know, taking their shirts off. There were, there were bystanders putting tourniquets on people's legs. It wasn't just one photo or two photos. It was a, a series of photos that showed that, you know, the commitment, that, that compassion that people have in Boston for each other. What other emotions were you feeling at that point? I felt just like crying. I felt like, um, you know, I knew I couldn't stop. I just felt like there was so much um, going on and my best chance for doing anything useful there was to, to just keep shooting pictures. This is the last photo Tamaki says he took at the scene. She just was kneeling and it was something so sacred about it. She just had the, I don't know, the respect to do that, just to, to take the time out and to pray. He says while many of his photos captured the hell of that day, he took just as many that captured hope. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, Boston.